Okay, so what you can do with Azure Video Insights? Some of the things that you can do with Azure Video Insights are things such as detecting faces in your videos, detecting the brands, detecting celebrities in the videos, uh, detecting the text that is uh, as part of the video content, um, generate transcript from, from the, uh, their audio, extract keywords, detect sentiments. Those are some of the things that you can do with Azure Video Insights. Um, I developed this uh, small Blazor um, application to show you a little bit of the things that you can do uh, by using Blazor Video, uh, by using Azure Video um, Indexer. So, for example, if you have some videos already uploaded, you can just go and see the videos and you will have a panel similar to this. Um, you can click uh, the video. These are actually multiple videos indexed with different names. Uh, the same video indexed with different names. Uh, these are some difference. You can click on them and then you will see that the page is going to be, uh, it's going to load the videos widget, both the video where you can watch the video and the insights panel or widget where you can see the actual insights or the things that are um, related to the video that you have uh, next to you. You can, for example, navigate. You will see that in this video it found a person. Uh, it says that this person appears in um, a one and a half percent of the video. So the face appears in this section and in this section. Uh, you can see the topics that are uh, related to this video. So you will see that this video has things such as, um, or found as a topic, things such as Silicon Valley, companies, musical groups, and if you click any of them, you will see that it shows you in which parts of the video uh, are related to that, uh, that topic, to the product. So you see that in these parts, in this part, in this part. Uh, you can check the labels that are uh, identified in the video and in which parts of the video those labels were identified or which parts of the video it identified or categorized with that uh, specific label you have selected. Uh, you can check the actual entities that were found it says that it found 25 locations and here it shows the actual locations. It found uh, 11 people and it found 25 brands. If I click for example this one, it will show me that this is in this part of the video. Uh, some of the things that actually have identified have some description that you can expand or you can actually go and find it on Bing. Uh, it will also show you some of the motions that I, it identified in the video. Um, as far as I have seen, the video indexer allows you or works better on the emotions sentiment when you have uh, faces. These videos that we have indexed do, do not have many faces and uh, there are a lot of not there are not a lot of emotions that it can detect. Uh, it also lets you identify some it identifies some of the uh, key scenes that are in the video. Uh, it also allows you to get information from um, the Thailand and it allows you to see the text that it allows you to see the text which is in the video it also allows you to select you see that as soon as you click any part 
of the video it will take you to that uh, of the widgets or the topics uh, these bars that you have below they will take you to that specific place of the video you can also hit play next or play previous uh, same happens with all of these tags so let's say web page web page has all of these places well, in the timeline in the timeline when you select a piece of text it will show you, it will take you to that uh, specific uh, place in the video you can also um, you can also edit this in the widget if you implement it uh, to be editable uh, you can edit the actual text in case that the translation is not accurate so you see that in here it says can you okay uh, something this is not the actual text that should be in there so let's see what that says okay so the problem with this is that this uh, insights this video is in Spanish and the indexing didn't work uh, really good in using when the audio is in Spanish so let's see another video that is in English so I think this one maybe okay so we wait again for the widgets to load you see that this is slightly different uh, this video is in English yeah and let's see it says hello I hope you are all good today so let's hear that So let's click on it and let's wait for it to take us to okay we'll go to the start of the video let's see if we can Okay, so this recognizes it as freezing because my English pronunciation is not really good. And it says so the first thing we are going to do was, I think. And that will uh, modify the transcript for the video so okay so the first go thing we are going let's see okay so well I saw that I have this error when I modify this this was going to be today I actually did mention to use and the later I did fin uh, said we are going to do so this is a uh, sample of how to fix your uh, transcript 
you can also check uh, which insights you want to display so you can check for example uh, let's see I don't want my transcript I just want the OCR uh, so it it lets you it gives you the OCR information for certain parts of the video you can uh, set it to the speakers in this case there is only one speaker so only one speaker will uh, will show up will show up in there uh, you if you just want to see the scenes um, if you just want to um, if you want to see everything for example uh, you can you can filter it you can uh, set the actual trans translation um, and you can also download the uh, information you can download, download the insights in the JSON file the transcript uh, in different formats you can get the artifacts and you can even download the source video uh, so yeah, those are the things that you can do with Azure Video Indexer, and this is a sample of what you can uh, you can do or how to implement, or a demonstration of a Blaze Source site uh, using the Video Indexer APIs to create a small uh, video uh, portal. You can do search too. So let's say I wanted to find Blazor it allows you to get some of the uh, videos that have something related to this word uh, core so this is the one we want on the core um, and yeah those are some of the things that you can do by uh, using the Azure Video Indexer uh, if you need any help using Azure Video Indexer, you need any service, uh, we create, uh, we develop APIs .NET Core to allow you to um, index your videos. Uh, we allow you, we create some portals like this if you need it. We can also create some background services if you need to index your videos uh, from a background service to be able to see them uh, somewhere else. Uh, let us know anything you would like to uh, you would like to uh, to do. Thank you very much, and please also share the videos and subscribe to the channel so you get notifications on the videos when they are uploaded. Have a great day.